Hi guys, so I am filming on my Sony, excuse the audio change that you guys are going to hear in a little bit, but I wanted to do an intro because I forgot to do an intro for the video that you guys are about to watch. I filmed a get ready with me for my graduation. It's a little scattered, it's a little rushed because I was in a rush that day, um, and so... Yeah, I just wanted to film Get Ready With Me. I hope you guys enjoy that. If you guys like to see how I get ready for graduation, then just keep watching. Thank you, guys. Okay, guys, so I am starting to film with my eye like this. Do you guys see this? Like, it's horrible. The reason why my eye is like this, I'll let you guys know. First, we're going to put on a primer, the primer that I usually put on all the time, which is the Nivea Men Original P Replenishing Post Shave Balm. And um, it's because I chose to go clean my car today. Um because I just felt like it so I went out um, and I went to go clean the car from the inside and of course I ran outside and I didn't even think about like getting like I didn't even think about like allergies and so I just was cleaning out there for like 20 minutes and um, I like got in the car to go pick up my sister and I was perfectly fine and then my eyes like started itching like really bad well this one as you can see so I started like itching it and everything and it was just horrible from there on like it was just horrible and so I kept like it got super poofy it looks a lot better than what it did but it got like super poofy down here like super like black down here and then like it just kept watering for no it kept watering and it was just so annoying. It's still watering a little bit, but it's not as much. Like, literally, there was, like, tears coming down my eyes. So I took allergy pills. I put on some eye drops. So, good job, Leslie. the Milani concealer on, or the Milani primer on today? You did? Okay, I'm going to try this again. A little bit. Okay, guys, so I'm going to use, you guys are crooked. Did you guys see my new background? I know you guys can't see it whenever I'm, like, zoomed in all the way. But do you guys see how, like, poofy my eye is from, like, this side? It is so poofy, but we gotta keep going. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the Milani like, Prime Shield. A little bit. My sister told me you have to put a tiny bit. I tried it last time and I hated it because I think I... That might okay, still be a little too much. I'm putting a tiny bit of that Milani Primer on. What I'm gonna do next, um, I just put a little bit of that Milani Primer on. You guys didn't see me put it on, but I did. Um, because I had to change Aaliyah's diaper. But I'm gonna put some of this um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in neutral or neutralizer sorry you guys excuse Aaliyah she's very go ah go what <laughs> you're so dramatic I'm gonna use this to just prime like my eyelids in a way I'm gonna use this it cosmetic airbrush concealer brush to blend this out Set that concealer, I just use a little bit of this Milani face powder in O2 light medium. Then I'm just gonna do a very simple look and then do like a bold liner. I always like to do this, and it's just one of the quickest ways, and I really like and enjoy doing it. So I just like to take a bronzer color because there's nothing else like a bronzy color, like a bronzer, and I'm just gonna put this like in the crease very lightly with a very light hand. And like always, I like to wing it out like in a V shape. And then also bring it into the outer corner. To deepen that up, I'm gonna mix this shade with this bronzy shade. And I'm just really keeping it like lower than that bronzy shade. I'm also using a more like precise brush. It's still a blending brush so everything will blend nicely, but it's not as fluffy as the other one so I'm keeping that color like out in the outer V and then lower than the bronzy shade that we applied and then what I'm gonna do is get my highlighter I'm using this brush right here by it cosmetics as well as the airbrush shadow brush I'm using the wet n wild mega glow highlighting powder in precious petals I'm taking this flat brush and what I'm gonna do is just pack that on my brush and putting it I'm stopping right where I put that darker shadow I'm stopping right there and I'm putting it more towards the inner corner um, and towards the inner part of the eyelid and then later whenever we have the rest of our makeup on we are going to bring it into the inner corner
Now moving on to the fun part. My sister used this for her prom, but I definitely want to try it out. And since our color, our, our school color, are royal blue, I want to try this color out. It's the Milani Stay Put Matte 17 Hour Wear Liquid Liner in 04 Midnight Matte. And it's a blue color, if you guys can see that. It's a blue color. Ooh, that looks so fun. I just want to try it out, see how it looks. If I don't like it, I'll take it off. But that's why I did such a simple look so that this eyeliner so that so that the eye look wouldn't overpower the eyeliner if that makes sense well first actually you guys but well, I'm just gonna go ahead and just make a line right there and clean up everything and I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner And I've noticed with this liner, you definitely had to like layer it on. I'm gonna say this. Like that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna try not to get any like mascara on it, but of course, I can't promise anything. And that's literally the whole eye look. And I'm gonna go in with the same brush that I do, that I do, that I did to put on my on my lid. And I'm taking whatever's left on the brush and just swiping that on my brow bone, kind of, to accentuate a little bit. Oh, hello, I'm mother. Crying. Oh, thank you, mommy. Oh, I love you. Aww, you're so sweet, Mom. Give me a kiss, give me a kiss. <laughs> She's jealous. Aww. I like little statues. <gasps> oh, I like this one. Look at this one. Thank you, Mom. Is there a little note on here? No. Don't make me cry now. Wishing you the best. I'm very proud of you. From Mom. Love you. Oh, I'm going to cry. Very emotional. My eyes. Guys, so right now I'm using the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation in Cream Beige, and I'm just using the blender, the <laughs> the Real Technique blender to bl Oh, honey, no, wait, no, 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 not yet. I have to mix it with my Milani um, Correct and Conceal, or cor Conceal and Perfect. <laughs> Conceal Perfect 2 in 1 Foundation Plus Concealer in 06 Sand Beige, which is a little tiny, too bit like too um, dark for me right now. But so I mix it with this one because it matches perfectly whenever I mix them. I'm just gonna use the blender, like I said, and blend all of this out. I'm gonna use this one by CoverGirl. It's the CoverGirl Outlast All Day. And it's the one that matches to my skin tone right now. All the other ones are a little too light for me, so I've tried to stay away from them. And I really wanna finish this one. I'm just trying to use it all up and not waste it. So I'm gonna use this concealer just to highlight and conceal on my face. And what I'm gonna use for that is Sponge by Real Technique. Uh, and I like to use the little side to blend out right here. Okay, so this liner makes my eyes feel very tight. Like, it's super matte that it makes my eyes look 
or like feel very tight. I don't know if that's a good thing for me or a bad thing, but right now it's kind of just really bothering me. And to set just that inner part of it, I'm going to use the Milani powder that I used earlier. I'm going to use this one. This one is by Studio 35 Beauty. I think that's what it's called. To do ended brush and I'm using this side. It's like more of a dome shaped brush. And I'm just going to quickly set the inner corners of my eyes. And then I'm going to use this Sheer Envy Bake Brand and Set Banana Powder. I'm just going to take the same side of that brush and I'm just going to quickly just set like right underneath and then also on top of that um, what I just set. And then I'm going to press everything in with the concealer sponge that I was doing. I'm just going to press it all in. And then what I'm going to do is set my whole face with the, this is actually my mom's, and I feel like it's going to be too orange, but I really need to set my whole face. And it's the Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless 230 Powder. Um, and she's, like, she uses this thing like crazy, but this is what it looks like in person. It looks a little orangey, but I mean, I don't, I think it'll work. So I'm just going to use this with this It Cosmetics um, brush, which is the powder brush, the airbrush powder brush. And I'm going to grab quite a bit of it. And I'm just going to set my whole entire face with this. And I'm going to go in with the sponge because I like my contour to be extra sharp with that banana powder. And I'm just going to go like that and let that sit under there for a little bit. For bronzer, I'm going to use this brush. I honestly don't know where this is, brush is from. But I'm going to go into the NYX. Contour or highlight and contour pro palette. I'm gonna take the same bronzer that I use um, on my eyes with that brush Spin it around and I'm gonna hit My cheeks with that and then my temple. I'm gonna quickly just bronze up my face To contour I'm gonna use this side of the brush. First I'm going to go into this neutral, then I'm going to go into the second dark, second darkest shade, and then this is the first darkest shade, which is like extreme dark. So I'm going to go this one, this one, and then this one, if that makes any sense. And that's just to make my contour blend a little bit better. You know what I mean? I'm also doing a little bit of contouring on my nose, like quick contouring on my nose. I'm going to grab this brush by or therapeutics and it's the contour brush I believe then we go into the second darkest shade with that brush and just just like very lightly like that just very very lightly you guys my third brush, which is this one by Wet n Wild, it's a pink one, it's the contour brush as well, and I'm going to go into the darkest shade, which is this one right here, and we're really just going to try to keep that shade towards the lowest part of our cheekbone, so... Like right there, and that's really all we want to do, like that. Hit the bottom of our lips, side of our nose a little bit, and that's all blush now. And for blush, I'm going to use this blush by um, Tarte, and it's the Magic Blush. It's The name of the blush is called Magic, and I'm going to use this e.l.f. Total Face Brush. I know it's a little too big, but I, I'm just going to grab a little bit, and these blushes are great because they're not too, like, pigmented, but I still like how much, like, it shows on your skin. So I've really enjoyed using this brush just to, like... Spread it and blend everything together. Okay, guys, sorry, but I don't want to get up to get another fan brush, and this was the one that was closest to me. This is the e.l.f. Professional Fan Brush. I hate this brush, but it's the only brush that I have near me, and I'm going to go in with my highlighter, with the Wet n Wild one that we use on our lids, and just kind of hit the tops of my cheekbones with this. I don't want it too dramatic, you guys. I'm going to go in with this brush, it's the IT Cosmetics Crease Brush, but I'm going to use this to just brighten up the inner corner a little bit. For the bottom lash line, I'm going to grab the smallest brush and then mix the two shades that I did before these two and just smoke out the bottom lash line. I'm 
I actually don't like the way this is working. So I'm going to wipe up the brush that I used for the inner corner. And I'm going to go into those two shades. I don't like the way that other brush is applying it. I think I need something more dense. So I'm just going to go out here. Oh yeah, that's better. Excuse my ugly face, you guys. And then I'm going to go into the darkest shade just by itself. And then hit the outer part. For eyelashes, I'm going to use an eyelash curler. I'm going to curl my eyelashes just very quickly. Now, put some mascara on them. Very lightly so the black won't transfer onto my eye. Eyeliner. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to use these individual lashes. I did my eyebrows, but it's with the um, e.l.f. eye pencil. I'm going to go in with just a little bit of falsies, and the way I do this to work out just a tiny bit is I dip it in some eyelash glue, and then that I've already let sit for a while, and I apply it onto my lashes. So I look down, so I start from like the outer part, and just stick it on, and just let it dry, and then I move on, excuse Aaliyah, she's kind of going crazy right now. And then I go with the next one, and I do the exact same thing. I grab it, and I put it about where I put the other one at. I just lay it down, and apply it. And the bad thing about these is sometimes they just get lost. So I like have to keep doing it because I feel like I don't know where it went, so it just gets lost. I have them on. They're all done. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of bottom mascara on my bottom lashes. And I'm just going to lightly spritz some setting spray. Like very lightly because I don't want anything to run. And go in with my beauty blender. Blend all of that out. Oh, for our lips, I will be using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. Just because we're going bold on the eyes, I don't want to go too bold on the lips. And I prefer a nude lip, actually. And that's the final look, you guys. Do you guys like it? It's just a little bit dramatic. It's not too dramatic and um, after the lashes dry I always like to go in with a coat of mascara to lock them all in and I usually don't I don't really do this kind of motion I just push them into each other so that they can be a little bit more like secured does that make sense like just a little bit more secured and have a little bit more volume for my hair I'm just gonna straighten it so I have my threatening iron. Okay, so I'm just gonna section my hair off and straighten it. That's literally all I'm gonna do. Okay, so this little dress that I'm wearing, it's just all white, super pretty, super cute, very fancy, I love it. Okay guys, so that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, and I just want to say excuse my face, this is like a whole day of makeup, so 
excuse it that if you guys like these types of videos then let me know in the comments down below like comment and subscribe for more videos and i'll talk to you guys next time bye guys